hello friends so in this video we are going to learn about the controlling of any appliance with the help of ir sensor and the arduino so in the one of my video i have shown you how to read the values of ir sensor and you can see on the screen that the code is shown for the same so i'll make some changes in this particular same code so that it will be very easy for you to understand the code now what i'm going to do additionally over here along with the ir sensor i'm going to use one uh, appliance uh, here i'm going to use the 12 volt dc motor so this particular 12 volt dc motor i'll be controlling with the help of ir sensor and the arduino obviously fine so uh, we know that for ir pin i have the input uh, as one uh, pin and that is nothing but the uh, uh, data pin of the ir sensor which i am going to connect to the pin number 2 of the arduino fine uh, one more pin i will uh, use uh, for the uh, motor okay and uh, on that pin i'll be calling let's say i'll be uh, obviously i need to uh, treat that as what you can say the uh, variable one of the variable to store the data so i am using that variable as a wall pin let's say okay so again that's the integer value so if you have not gone through the uh, video of mine where i explain the uh, reading of ir sensor you can go through that uh, video i have kept that uh, link of video in the description so you just go through it fine so i am using uh, wall pin as one of the what you can say uh, variable which will be connected to the uh, motor pin okay and uh, let's say i'm assigning the pin number 13 to the wall pin okay pin number 13 to the wall pin in just a minute yeah so here we will be uh, I'll, I'll take the input from the ir sensor and uh, on the uh, value of the ir sensor after sensing the uh, obstacle or what you can say the object rather instead of obstacle it is object it will give the output and that output i'll be using to control the uh, dc uh, motor so in short it is something like that when uh, i'll take a hand in front of the ir sensor the motor will start that is what my ultimate aim is okay so i'm using uh, two three variables so one for the ir pin another for the wall pin and the uh, for the val to read the value of ir sensor okay now here in this case uh, in in case of setup uh, ir pin will work as the input as uh, we have seen in the previous code so here i need to assign the particular wall pin as the output pin okay so i am using this particular variable wall pin as an output output okay that is what i have added one thing uh, now fine i am not going to see the values of ir sensor so i can remove the serial dot begin over here okay i will just remove that particular thing fine uh, then yeah i will go to the loop where first i will read the value which is coming from the ir sensor and that value i am going to store into the variable called ir value so in case of ir value i am uh, sensing rather i am recording the values from the ir sensor with the help of command like digital read ir pin now what i will do i will use if and else statement over here so if this particular ir value uh, is equal to low then the uh, digital pin number 13 of arduino should get uh, enabled or it should be on the high side okay so here uh, you have a question that why it is equal to low only we have seen already that for ir value the output is the low for ir value the output is the low when it senses any object okay so here i'll put like if if uh, let's say ir value ir value is equal to equal to low sorry equal to equal to low okay then what i need to have 
I'll put the curly bracket. Okay, I'll put the curly bracket. I should have that uh, the digital read. Uh, sorry, digital write. I have to use because I have to get the output. So digital write. Now what type we should uh, write over here? That wall pin pin number thirteen should get high. Correct. So wall pin wall pin has to be high. Okay. So that is the command. Else, else what will happen? Else, else that obviously the wall pin has to be on the low side only. So digital, sorry. Digital right. I will have wall pin to be low, to be low over here. Okay. So this is what the simple code over here. That's this is what the code to control the uh, DC motor. So it's very simple that when the IR sensor is getting sensed, the uh, uh, output pin, that is pin number 13, will get enabled and the signal will be sent to the uh, motor and motor will. Uh, run okay so the motor we are using is of a 12 volt and uh, that uh, how to control that 12 volt i am going to explain in the uh, circuit diagram or the circuit rather okay so we will go for the hardware circuit before going for the hardware circuit we will just uh, compile this code and we will upload to the uh, arduino so let me compile this code first yes it is getting compiled uh, let us wait for a second so it gets compiled so once it is compiled, I will upload this particular code to the Arduino and uh, then I will make a hardware circuit and once the hardware circuit is done, I can uh, test it okay, with the help of uh, uh, having the object in front of the IR sensor. So that uh, is the second part of the video that also we, uh, I am going to include. So the sketch is already compiled over here. Fine. So we will go for the hardware circuit and then we will upload and we will test it. Okay. So let's go for the hardware circuit. Okay, so here are the components required. So this is the IR sensor you have already seen. So here you can have the uh, pins like left pin will be the out pin that that is the data pin. Middle one is the ground pin and right one is the VCC pin. So uh, on the back side also you will have the num uh, naming. So VCC and ground will be connected to the 5 volt supply of Arduino and the ground of Arduino and the out pin will be connected to the pin number 2 of the Arduino. Then this is the Arduino. Okay. This is the Arduino. Uh, then we are going to use one uh, DC motor. So this is the DC motor which will uh, be of a 12 volt supply type. Okay. Which has two terminal and then I am going to use this particular 12 volt uh, power uh, supply uh, to run the motor because motor is of uh, 12 volt supply so this is you can see 12 volt 2 ampere power source now here basically the output from the arduino is 5 volt whereas the motor which i want to run is of 12 volt so there should be something in between so that the 5 volt signal will be given to that and the 12 volt uh, supply will be uh, given to the motor through that particular module and that is nothing but the uh, relay so this is the 5 volt SPST uh, relay which will be uh, used or which will be taking the 5 volt as the input supply and uh, 12 volt output supply will be given over here. So we will see the pin out over here total there are basically 6 pins on this uh, uh, relay. So we can see the pins. So here there are 3 pins uh, from the green bulb you can see there is a VCC pin, ground pin and then you have the uh, in pin in is nothing but which is nothing but the uh, output coming out from the arduino will be given to the in pin of this uh, relay so the left left one is the vcc pin then the ground pin and then the in pin likewise these three pins are there and on the other side uh, you will have uh, the three pins uh, no common and nc okay so basically uh, the 5 volt supply which is coming out from the arduino will be given over here okay on this particular side and the 12 volt supply will be connected on this side so what happens basically as you know uh, the ir sensor will have the output as a, a zero or the low when it's sensing the object 
so what i am going to do over here that uh, at the common i'll be giving the positive supply of the uh, 12 volt uh, power source and uh, from the nc i will connect that particular terminal to one of the terminal of the uh, motor okay so this is the uh, motor over here which has two terminals so one terminal of this nc will be connected to one of the terminal of motor and the other terminal will be connected to the remaining terminal of the power source so if you see the power source so this is the power source output okay so power source will have two pins one is the uh, positive pin and other one is the uh, ground pin so the red one is the positive pin so the red one will go to the common of this particular relay okay at uh, middle and from nc because nc stands for normally closed so this is the normally closed type of uh, relay so from nc uh, one terminal will be connected to the uh, one of the terminal of motor fine so we'll see the uh, connections over here one by one fine so what i'm going to do i will have the breadboard on breadboard what i'm going to do i will be uh, mounting the uh, what we can say the ir sensor and uh, the pins will be taking over here okay fine so i'll just keep it like guys so this is what the ir sensor i have mounted already on the uh, breadboard okay and on the back end i'll have the pins three pins over here fine so we can have that is from uh, left i'll be having vcc ground and the out so the red one is, will be the vcc pin then middle is the black one which is the ground pin and the yellow is nothing but the out pin fine so what i'm going to do i will have the arduino over here and from arduino first of all i'll take the 5 volt supply and the ground on the breadboard okay for that i'm using the uh, male female lines over here fine so we'll go one by one so here there is the 5 volt supply okay so uh, v in ground ground and 5 volt okay so that 5 volt supply i'll be giving to breadboard over here you know the function of breadboard okay then uh, we will have one more wire fine which i'll be using for ground okay the ground will be given over here okay fine now what i'll do to power the ir sensor the positive or the vcc supply of ir sensor that is red line i will connect it to the 5 volt supply which is coming from the arduino then the black is nothing but the uh, ground pin that i'll connect over here to the ground pin fine then the out or the data pin of this particular ir sensor i'll be connecting to the pin number 2 of the arduino i'll be connecting to the pin number 2 of the arduino so this is the the first pin that is the uh, pin number 0 okay so this is pin number 0 then pin number 1 and you'll have the pin number 2 over here okay so i am putting the yellow line in the pin number 2 now what i'm going to do i will take the uh, pin number uh, 13 from the arduino okay i will take the pin number 13 from the arduino and uh, that connection i'll be giving to the uh, ir sensor over here fine sorry to the uh, relay fine so what i will do i will have the uh, relay first of all okay this is the relay i am having i will keep the relay some something like this so that it will be clear for you okay so what i'll do now i will take the pin number 13 output okay so you have the pin number over here fine so i'll just have the counting pin number 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 okay so pin number 13 this is the pin number 13 which will be given to the uh, here you can have on the relay there is written as in okay so to the in pin i'll be giving the output of the arduino fine so i'm giving the output over here then plus uh, 5 volt supply obviously i need to power the relay as well so plus 5 volt supply 